Hi, my name is Mark Conti. I'm the Sales Director for Paving Equipment for Allen Engineering. Today I'm going to be discussing some of our paving products, specifically the bridge deck finishers. Behind me is the 4836 BDF. We offer this in two models. One is the 4836. The 48 represents the length of the paving roller and the 36 represents the depth of the frame. The 6048 represents a 60 inch paving roller and a 48 inch depth frame. Now these two models are specifically used for bridge decks but can also be used for airport work as well as roadways. This model behind me, so as I said before, you have a depth of frame, 36 inch. Now this model is meant to go to a 90 foot max width and you split apart the machine and add lengths to the frame in order to get to that. This can be put in a position for a flat roadway, you can have a crowned roadway, you can have cross slope, so it has many different um, versatile functions for your paving surface. <clears throat> These are six inch legs that are standard on our machine. At the top of the leg is a hand crank that is to adjust the elevation of the height of the machine. The machine also has an option for hyd hydraulically powered legs as well. The machine comes standard with cupped wheels, but it can also be adapted to have what are called a polyurethane cupped wheel or a flat flange polyurethane. The reason for the polyurethane is to be used in an incline or decline where you need extra traction on your pipe rail. In a road paving or airport paving application, you will have what are called flat flange bogey wheels, and those typically ride on top of paving forms. This right here is what is referred to as the paving carriage. What the paving carriage's function is, is to screed the surface of the roadway or the bridge deck or your paving surface to grade. The paving rollers are what cut it to the surface of the grade. This is what's referred to as the roller tamp. It consolidates the top surface of the concrete. These are the augers that meter the material forward. So this paving carriage acts as a function of metering the material forward, consolidating the surface, and then putting it to its final grade. Trailing the paving carriage is what's referred to as a drag pan assembly that has a, um, an apparatus that is very similar to a bull float, so it smooths and closes up the surface. Then you also have a burlap drag that puts a light texture similar to a broom finish. So these functions that are on the paving carriage, you have the engage and disengage lever. You have what's called the carriage up and carriage down. And what that means is the lower carriage will raise up so you can clear any kind of structure, obstruction, or bulkhead. And then when you always keep it in the down position when you're paving, okay? Comes equipped standard with two e-stops in the event of any issues that you might foresee or come up on the job. It also comes equipped with a fire extinguisher as well. This is driven by a 23 and a half horsepower Kohler gas engine. This is the vibration device. The adjustment or frequency of vibration is controlled by this device up here. If you have a tight slump, chances are you're going to have a uh, higher vibration. If you have a wetter or looser slump, you're going to have a minimal vibration. Depending on your application, you may have um, this function completely off. This is what's referred to as an automatic roller rotation reversal valve. And with this, you are able to adjust the roller rotation to go counterclockwise, to go clockwise, to both go in one direction or the other direction, or you can make them go opposite of one another. These two levers control the rotation of the paving rollers. In a situation, they can both be going in the same direction, either counterclockwise or clockwise. One could be going clockwise, one could be going counterclockwise, or the other way. Again, depending on your application, it could be a cross slope, it could be a crowned bridge deck, it could be something that you, just requires you to allow the roller rotation to go in a different direction. And with the roller rotation reversal valve on the, on the front, when the paving carriage shifts and ends its cycle, then it allows the, the rollers to turn in an opposite direction. As the carriage travels through the carriage rail, it's screening the surface of the concrete. When it gets to the end of its cycle, the machine will advance. When it gets to the end of this cycle and starts traveling back towards the power unit, it will advance as well until the completion of the deck or the pavement port. This plate on here is what's referred to as a rigid leg plate. 
We also offer a pivot leg plate, and that pivot leg plate allows the frame of the machine to follow the profile of the paving surface while allowing the legs to remain plumb. The operator console is up above. What that allows you to do is to control the speed of the carriage. It also controls the advancement of the machine. If you have a power leg option, it will allow you to control the vertical adjustment of the machine legs during setup procedures. It also allows you to control a power crown in the event that you have a power crown option on the machine. It also has the ability to control any function for a power leg widening or if there is a fogger unit on the system. So each leg comes equipped with an e-stop. This will stop the movement of the carriage, similar to the e-stops that are on the carriage that stop the functions of the carriage, it does not stop the movement. That's where these four e-stops, which come standard with each machine, stops the movement of the carriage and kills the engine on the operator console. Standard on all Allen bridge deck finishers is what's referred to as a manual crown adjuster. This can also be modified to use as a power crown adjuster. What that enables you to do is adjust the machine frame for a crown or an invert that might be a part of the application of your bridge deck or your road surface. Also standard on all of our bridge deck finishers, we have what's referred to as an auger guard. This is a safety feature that we instituted a couple years ago. Um, with the roller rotation of the augers, it is very much a danger and a pinch point. So this is a standard option on all of our machines. The Allen Engineering bridge deck finishers, triple roller tube pavers, and the new VLP all come with a limited two-year warranty. Any operating manual or setup procedures can be found on our website at www.alleneng.com. My name is Mark Conti. If you have any questions, please reach out to me. My number is 216-469-0005, and I'm the sales director for the paving equipment at Allen Engineering.